Hey everyone and welcome back to Inside Wire. Today we're going to be looking at the Ubiquiti viewport. This little machine allows you the freedom to display your Ubiquiti cameras on a display that has a HDMI port. This can be a flat screen TV or, a flat, or any monitor that you have that has a HDMI input. The viewport can display a single camera all the way up to 16 cameras at once depending on how your configuration is. It's simple and easy to set up via the Protect app or you can actually set it up via the web browser which is what we're going to have a look at shortly. The viewport is powered up via power over ethernet. If you don't have a power over ethernet switch you can actually use a PoE injector. Uh, do note though that it doesn't come with a PoE injector so you would need to buy one separately. The video output is 4K at 30 frames per second and the unit can be mounted on the back of the TV or even on the wall or even hidden away out of plain sight. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to look at more Ubiquiti content. Have a look at my, some of my other videos where I've looked at the UDM Pro, some of the cameras and configuring the whole entire network. So let's jump straight into it. So we will start by unboxing the Ubiquiti viewport. As I mentioned it's a fairly small box, there's not a lot to it. Um, so let's let's jump straight in and unbox it. Okay. So we undo this. Take the packaging off. You can see once we lift it up, it's just opening up now. You can see inside here that you have the viewport itself. Like I said, it's not that big in size, it's fairly small, can be hidden. So on the bottom side you have the secondary Ethernet port if you want to loop through. You have a HDMI port which is there and if I flip it the other side you have the power over Ethernet in. So inside here this is all there is to it, so we'll pop that on the side. Inside you have a little package which has a QR code which actually shows you a quick setup guide it shows you what needs to be done um, so it says plug your Unify power over Ethernet injector or from the switch into the viewport and then HDMI into a monitor again there's a quick start guide with a QR code on here if you want to look at that anything else in here um, so there's this um, it looks like this is uh, a sticky, yeah, it looks like you can stick this to the viewport and then stick it on a wall or on the back of a TV or something like that anyway, um, but that's what, what that looks like. Let's take that out of the way, let's move that. Um, and let's have a look what's inside here. So we have a couple of things, so we have a HDMI cable. Um, this is a premium certified cable um, that comes with um, the viewport. And this looks like it is a wall mount. You can mount this on the wall and I think you just pop this in here and you can see that it mounts on. Looks like it just requires a couple of screws just there and there. Pop that aside, is there anything else? Yeah, it comes with the screws to fix it to a wall, it looks like it comes with a couple on here. If we have a look what else is inside the box, I think there's just a guide at the bottom. Um, this looks like just a viewport instruction, so if you want to have a look at those, again there's some more in here. And that's it with the box. So if we look back at the viewport itself, um, actually on the back there is a reset button just here, so if you ever need to do a hard reset you can use that button just there. So let's go ahead and power this up. I have the viewport in front of me and I'm going to connect it up via power over ethernet. This is plugged directly into my switch. Uh, so let that power up, we'll give that a second. You'll see a little white light blinking on the front. And as you can see on the screen the Ubiquiti has just popped up with a really nice logo. So we'll give that a second to load up. So it comes up with a nice welcome screen 
and then it tells you exactly what you need to do. So it says connect your viewport to the same network. Um, your controller device is plugged on via Ethernet, which we have, and you can then adopt the device via the Unify Protect. So, just going to pop across to my laptop, which you can see here. I'm logged in already, and you can see the device has already popped up in the top right hand corner saying, Do you want to add? So, let's go to Protect. And then, uh, yes, we just going to close that actually. And I'm going to say, Yeah, let's add a device, and we can see the viewport. So, we can say this is um, IW Office Viewport, wherever you want to keep this located we can add the device and you can now see that the device has been added which is great just to give you a quick scan through this area they've got the live view on the left hand side so this shows I've got two cameras plugged in at the moment I've actually created a couple of other views so I have cam 1 and cam 2 which rotate every three seconds um, slightly annoying but it's just for the purposes of this demo and the the standard default for uh, the standard default view which shows four different cameras so what I'm actually going to show you now is the viewport itself so we've adopted it and if I go back to the viewport now you can actually see that we have two cameras on there there is a slight difference to these cameras they are both facing the wall there's something in the bottom left hand bottom right hand corner of one of them they're just both facing the wall at the moment now this shows the standard default view uh, I'm just going to flick back again to my laptop. So this shows the standard default view. So what we want to do is actually flick to custom view one, which is one camera. And there's a button here in the top right hand corner. We can click on that and we want to send it to the viewport there. So you want to replace the default uh, view. Yes, you do. You click continue. And if I now go back to my viewport, you can actually see that they are now uh, that's now showing that camera just to bring these two side by side um, so you can see that on the laptop I have uh, the Unify Protect open and on the right hand side I have the viewport itself so what I actually want to show you is something that is a bit strange why Ubiquiti haven't actually included this yet but they seem to have done it on the actual Protect software but not on the viewport yet so if I actually send this now to the viewport, you can see that will change now, it's connecting to cam two. But actually you can see on here, it's, it was displaying cam one and it will do again in a couple of seconds, but the viewport itself doesn't change. Now I hope Ubiquiti actually add this into a, a later firmware update for the viewport because I think it's a really good view to have. Um, whether you have it set to motion or you have it set to every a default time, it's a really good thing to have. Now, there isn't really a lot to this product other than that. Um, it is a very basic product. It plugs into a TV, it displays your cameras, and that's it. If you, just a side note, if you ever want to remove the device in the future, you can just go across to here, go to manage, and you can delete the device and it does a factory reset which I will do for demo for you in a second if you ever want to update the name of the device that's along here and if you ever want to change the, the view as well that's along here and all the information of the viewport itself so just before we finish up here I'm just going to delete the device if you find the device hangs sorry there's a reboot button just here but other than that, if we delete the device, I'm actually going to say unmanage and I'm just going to show you what the viewport does. Um, if I click unmanage now, you can see that it's doing a factory reset on the device and it's resetting everything and it will change back for it ready to be readopted. If you want to adopt it in the same environment or if you're selling it or giving it to someone else, you can give it off that way. I really hope you found this video useful and helpful. There isn't really a lot to the Ubiquiti viewport, it just displays your cameras that you have configured and set up. And it is fairly straightforward and simple to set up. As I mentioned in the video, I really hope Ubiquiti release a firmware update which allows you to switch your cameras on the viewport as well, so you can have it changing at a periodic time or at any point in motion. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to my videos. There is a lot more Ubiquiti content. I do have a playlist with a bunch of videos. Feel free to check them out. There'll be a link appearing on your screen now. The products used in this video are in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account. 
but the good news is it doesn't cost you a penny more to use those links. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.